Iron Will. <laughs> Welcome back to Every Disney Movie Ever. My name is Jess and I'm watching Every Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Iron Will. Iron Will is a 1994 theatrical release. It's directed by Charles Hayes, cinematography by William Wages, editing by Andrew Dorfer. Music is by Joel McNeely and it's written by John Michael Hayes, George Milikovich, and Jeff Arch. Charles Hayes is best known for Murder One, ER, Third Watch, and Altered States. William Wages is best known for Into the West, Surface, Riders of the Purple Sage, and I'll Fly Away. Andrew Dorfer is best known for Desperate Housewives, All Souls, Agent Carter, and Big Apple. Joel McNeilia, I covered it in the video about Davy Crockett, Rainbow and the Thunder. The link will be in the description. John Michael Hayes is best known for Rear Window, To Catch a Thief, The Trouble with Harry, and The Man Who Knew Too Much. George Milikovich, which I'm absolutely butchering, I'm so sorry, is best known for Runaway Train, Victory, Reckless and in Love, and Toby McTeague. Jeff Arch is best known for Sleepless in Seattle, Complete Guide to Guys, Saving Millie, and This. The film is actually based off of a real sled dog race in 1917. It did the path that it does in the movie, and Will Stoneman him, like the character Will Stoneman is based off of two people actually the first one being Albert Campbell who won the race his father died two weeks before the race happened and it was his father's last dying wish that Albert ran the race and won his brother actually came in fourth place the second person that Will Stoneman was based off of was Fred Hartman Fred Hartman was the only American in the race and he was the fan favorite by far early in the race though his dogs fought and he lost his lead dog so he had to lead his dogs through a lot of it and he actually gained a lead at some point, but he ended up coming in last, but he was by far like the fan favorite. People cheered him on endlessly. The film stars Mackenzie Aston, Kevin Spacey, George Curtis, David Ogden Steers, and Brian Cox. Mackenzie Aston plays Will Stoneman, and is best known for The Magicians, The Facts of Life, Scandal, and this. Kevin Spacey plays Harry, and he's best known for The Usual Suspects, Ellie Confidential, American Beauty, and Seven. George Curtis plays Borg, and he's best known for NCIS, Seinfeld, The X-Files, and this. David Ogden Steers plays J.W. Harper and I covered him in the video about Beauty and the Beast. The link will be in the description. Brian Cox plays McTeague and he's best known for X2, X-Men United, Troy, Adaptation, and The Bourne Supremacy. The film was shot on location in Minnesota near Lake Superior. They were actually never near St. Paul and any scenes with mountains were filmed in Montana. The film made $21 million in the box office. I vaguely remember watching this as a kid. I didn't really remember a lot of it. I knew the dad died but I didn't, I don't think that's because I remember from when I was a kid. I remember a story my mom always tells about her and Eric, my brother, going to see it in the movie theater when he was about eight and the film said it was based on true events and when they were leaving, my brother was like, does that mean his dad actually died? And my mom was like, oh my God, <laughs> yeah, that's what that means. And like, Eric was like really struck by it and stuff and it's like such a sad, you know, it's a cute little eight year old, like sad moment. So I think that's how I remember the dad died mostly. The first 30 minutes of this movie, there's just like an onslaught of information. The, not even just information, but like stuff that happens. The dad dies, he gets ready for the race. There's just like the college stuff. There's so much that happens in the first 30 minutes of this film to set up him going on this race because they want the race to be the chunk of the film, the meat of it. So it was just so fast, I kind of felt like like it was too fast can you believe like the race itself was fine like honestly that could have been a little bit faster i feel like although i'm not mad at it but like you know whatever i feel like the beginning could have been like extended a little like there's just so much happened so fast i was like i felt like attacked by everything that was going on and then the race happens and the race is the next hour of the movie and I enjoyed the race. I liked, you know, the stuff Will went through and everything, but some of it was a little repetitive, what he was going through. And I feel like my favorite scene is when Will comes into that one place and starts kicking everybody's butt. He's like, you killed, you tried to kill my dog! And then just starts punching on Borg and then punches Harry for taking advantage of like the publicity and everything. Like that scene was so good. I was like really up and in it with him. There were a few times I got emotional. One of them, um, I didn't actually really, I didn't cry when the dad died, but then in the barn, when he almost attacks Gus and then just breaks down sobbing, it was so real. Like Mackenzie's acting was so well done. I got a little emotional. And then later in the film, when he says, it's not just about me anymore, I got a little emotional, but then I cried when Gus got back up and was like, I wanna lead again. 
we're going by the river, we're doing this, we're winning. And like, I was like, oh my God, okay. And I like cried. There's a situation in this movie that is slim, similar to a slow clap. And it's when they do the whistle that he's been doing the whole movie for Gus and the dogs. And um, I was emotional already. So like it started to affect me right when the, when the first guy did it. Um, I already forgot his name, but when he did it to get like Gus to start pulling Will, I got emotional, but then when everyone started doing it, I was like, this is the same thing as a slow clap, okay? Like, it's a little bit more effective, but it was the same thing, pretty much. Will wins, and that's great, and that's the end. Like, there is no further resolution. It is, he crosses the finish line, he wins, the end. So you're supposed to assume he saves the farm, he gets better, he's fine, whatever. I would have liked maybe a little bit more of a resolution. Like, I get it. That's all we need. All we need is that he wins. But, like, show him back at home with, like, Gus and the farm's okay. Or, like, at college because, like, he's supposed to be winning this money for the farm and college. Like, I don't know. Okay? Overall, I enjoyed this movie. I really loved when Borg's dogs turned on him. That was the best because it was, like, finally you've, like, been whipping your dogs this whole time and you've been such a turd blossom. Mm. Um, my final rating is seven dogs out of ten. Our total movie count is. Our parent death toll is. <laughs> Our cry count is. <laughs> if you want to keep up with what movie I'm watching, when follow me on Instagram, Twitter, you'll find out what movie I'm watching when. I put out videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Follow my Patreon or join my Patreon because it's awesome. Lots of fun stuff going on over there. I have polls about where to go with my channel. I have some bonus content. Hopefully by now I've got some behind the scenes content going on over there. So please go check it out. You get a postcard from me every month. You know, check it out. The giveaway, the like, um, the biannual giveaway will be happening in June. So you better sign up over there, okay? Okay, until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm gonna try to yours you. And don't be bored about it, for sure. Come my darling, homeward bound. Where all is lost, all can be found.